23 severe weather team is tracking Hurricane Irma during our 4 a.m. hour. It was downgraded to a Category 4 storm. It has killed at least 11 people and torn apart buildings across the Caribbean. Hurricane warnings and mandatory evacuations are in place right now across southern Florida. Joining us on the phone now is Colleen Hip, who lives in West Palm Beach. Good morning, Colleen. You're not leaving Florida. Tell us why. Good morning. Uh, I'm not leaving Florida just because uh, I can't get any gas to get out of Florida. And also, uh, I have a property here that I want to stay and, and make sure I check up on and uh, stay with some friends and um, ride it out. How are you preparing? How are your friends preparing for this storm, which is just massive? Well, I prepared by boarding up my condo with plywood. I don't have hurricane shutters. Uh, so we boarded up yesterday. Plenty of water, plenty of propane, uh, food. We're, we're stocked up for probably about a good week worth of food, water, and, um, and propane. My friends do have a generator where I'll be staying, which is nice, but that'll only last a few days. Uh, so we're just going to hope for the best and hope it keeps slowing down and uh, weakening. Colleen, you're from Michigan. How long have you lived in Florida, and have you ever been through a hurricane before? Yes, I have. Um, I was down here about 12 years ago, and I lived through two Category 3 storms. Um, and I've been back down here for about three and a half years. So this is the first one since I've been back down here um, in the last three years. I know that you guys had trouble finding bottled water basic supplies. You started trying to prepare for this last weekend, I mean, almost a week ago. That is correct. We couldn't find water starting basically Sunday on. Um, search for water, continually search for water, and um, finally found some yesterday. Uh, good thing I have friends because they, they found water as well. So combined, we, we have plenty now, uh, but we did definitely have a hard time finding water. Uh, the shelves at the stores are empty. Um, I did manage to go to Costco yesterday and find a few things, and the store was empty because everyone is evacuating. So that worked out well for me. Well, definitely a, a situation uh, where uh, everybody is, is watching uh, that part of the country right now and uh, hoping and praying that uh, everything is, is okay for the folks that are there and those that have to stay behind uh, like yourself, Colleen. Thank you so much for being with us, and uh, best of luck. Stay safe because, uh, obviously, that's a big storm. It sure is. Yeah, really scary stuff.